am tired today. I had to go into the office, but I also had to go to a different campus for a walkthrough for an event um, that I'm planning next year. It's like times like this where I realize how much of an introvert I really am and how much I need to recharge after being around people. And it's not like there are a lot of people within my office on a daily basis, but oh man, I am drained. I am, I didn't even want to cook tonight. Matt is at magic and I'm just here recharging in my fun office space. So it is just, uh, I love being in this room. Just want to be in here all the time. So um, tomorrow I have a virtual event that I will do and it'll take place uh, over Zoom and I'm kind of nervous about it. Um, I've done virtual programming, but I'm always afraid that something's gonna mess up. So knock on wood um, that it goes well. And um, yeah, then I just need to prep for the new year because I, after this week, I will be off for two weeks and I'm so looking forward to this, those two weeks. Um, and the final week of December, I'll be at Disney. So this will be my first time at Disney World and I'm super excited, but also nervous just because I'm not really a, a theme park person um, because that's a lot of people, but it's Disney. So I'm super excited and I'm ready to go and have fun with my family and I have to decide if I'm taking like what stationery I'm taking with me because I know I may not have like a lot of time to journal um so I want to take something small but I also don't want to take too much actually I've never flown with fountain pens before and I'm kind of worried that ink will get on everything so if you have any tips on traveling on a plane with fountain pens, I'd love to hear your suggestions on how to handle that. I was thinking of just bringing my Cavecos and emptying them out and bringing cartridges um, so that I can use a cartridge and then throw them away. Like as soon as I either finish, um, I'm less likely to be like upset by throwing away a cartridge um, than having to uh, worry about a bottle. And then, yeah, the rest of the evening, I'm probably just gonna journal and knit. And we're not cooking dinner tonight, even though we probably should. Um, Matt's at magic, so I don't want to cook by myself. And I'm just too tired. I, I've been kind of grumpy today. <laughs> um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching my last video. Your, your comments are always so appreciated and I just, they make my day, so. Thank you for watching and thank you for commenting and you know on any of my videos it means a lot but all right maybe i'll check in later if not good night and i will see you tomorrow
So I had my first like work workshop today and I'm just like overthinking it right now and just feeling very, cause I'm a very anxious person. But I think it went well. I'm just, I'm like tired now. Like that, my anxiety just, <laughs> I don't know. So now I'm just, I just finished eating lunch and I'm um, gonna log back into work in a minute. I'm just kind of decompressing a little bit. I just feel very, uh, I don't know how to describe the way I'm feeling. It's like a very, like when you're tense and then you've finally been able to release. So now my body's releasing and it just feels very uh, kind of achy feeling. Oh my goodness. I think I'm gonna knit a little bit before I have to log back into work. I still have a, um, some time in my lunch, so. Whew.